Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I've put out. And as always, I ask if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and that notification button so that, that way you get notified of every time a new video of mine comes out. If you're a veteran of the channel and been here for a while, might I suggest that you hit the super thanks button and give a tip or join button, whichever one, I'm happy with either. So today's video, we are going to talk about the future of Linux. Uh, there's been a lot of discussions going around, a lot of content creators talking about. Uh, also, um, what's prompted the discussion to come out about it is uh, Ubuntu is getting ready to release a immutable distribution based off of their Ubuntu core. And so I was watching a couple of videos here and there and also some conversations I've had with people about immutable distros. And is that the future of Linux? Because that's kind of what it's being touted as, is that's the future of Linux. You are having tons of immutable distributions coming up. You've had Fedora come up with one with their Kino White and their Silver Blue. Uh, you've had, you know, uh, Vanilla OS, I believe. is Yeah, Vanilla OS. And uh, a couple of other, you know, distributions come along that are making theirs immutable. But it's never really considered for some reason, like, on the map until Ubuntu does it. When Ubuntu does it, then all of a sudden, it's like, that's the future of Linux. I've been around, if you're watching my, uh, my interview that I did with Brody, I've been around long before Ubuntu came around. And the truth of the matter is, is for some reason, somewhere, somehow, because of the early work that Ubuntu put in on making Linux popular, they're pretty, pretty much the ones that really popularized Linux and put it on the map. Now, everything that they do seems to be monikered as the final stamp on what is, you know, Linux. Now, an immutable distribution is what we need to talk about, because in my mind's eye, and bear with me, it's definitely got some credibility to it, but it's also kind of a ticky-tacky point. The, what makes Immutable semi-contra what Linux stands for is the fact that what it does is it takes your core system and locks it down to an image that is created and kept that way and whenever you apply updates or anything like that unless they're atomic updates they're ones that are made to that image by the developers themselves it's never really written uh, outside of the user level of of inter uh, of uh, integration so you could change your user program but you're never going to damage the core files which is a good thing for new to Linux users, but to veterans and tinkers, they're kind of taking away some of the stuff that people get into because a lot of people get into, you know, root folders and that kind of stuff to customize like Grub, those kind of things. You won't be able to do that on, a, on an immutable distro. So I'm kind of torn on it. Do I think that it's going to be the future because of that? I don't know. You know, I, I mean, I think that pretty much so anything that was uh, adopted by large Linux distributions such as Ubuntu and Fedora definitely stands to be the test of time. But is it the begin all and end all of it? No, because, as I said, there's many distributions out there that that are not immutable and I don't think have the desire to become immutable because of the core basis of what Linux is, is allow people to basically do what they want with Linux and customize it down to the kernel, if you will. You know, you could uh, adjust kernels in and out whenever you want, at will, ad nauseum, at libre, you know? So I don't necessarily think that immutable is going to be the, the solid future of Linux, I think it's going to be around for a long time and adopted and distributions are going to make their versions of it. But I don't think that that's going to be it because 
the reality of it is is linux is freedom as in the ability to interchange components at different levels throughout the operating system at your will and your desire and your discretion heck it's even designed for you to make your own distributions as many people do that's why we have 600 different variants of linux so I would say that I wouldn't get your, your, your feathers all in a ruffle over immutable distros and think that they're going away because I guarantee you for a fact, one distribution that exists that has tons of forks of, some are very beautiful, some are very plain Jane, but they're still forks of it, and that's Arch. Arch is, I don't think, will ever see an immutable distribution if it does i personally will be shocked and i'll have to get on here and and be like um okay i think hell finally froze over because it literally goes against everything of what arch stands for arch stands for you to be able to customize every aspect of it ad nauseum i mean that's why the aur is so expansive because people decided hey i want to make this this and this to work with arch and bam and that and that's where it is i mean so so there's distributions like Arch that are never going to adopt it, and they're never going to see an immutable distro. And if you do, it's going to definitely be one of those eyebrow razors and head scratchers, and you'll be like, okay. But I guarantee you it will never be a flagship distro for them. Uh, in, in retrospect, immutable distributions would be something that would be a very positive thing for Linux because, as I said... It doesn't let the core files, the system core files, be updated for breakage-wise. So, therefore, a lot of new to Linux users that are starting to get their 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 their, their feet wet, and maybe you know, kind of you know, strengthen their chops a little bit in, in the Linux world, would benefit from those distros to learn basically how the user side of things work and how to customize things on a user side. Then, once they get comfortable with that, then they could branch out into a non immutable distribution and be able to actually progress their chops and get stronger in their whether it be coding or scripting or or whatever it is that they're doing with their linux box it'll allow them to get stronger and more experienced at that aspect so that's what's nice about it honestly i would feel that that will allow a much steadier and less negative experience than then if somebody was a new to Linux user jumped into something and it broke on them because an update came along and actually broke it because somebody forgot to merge some type of repo somewhere upstream or downstream, you know, somewhere to make it things right. And so the next thing you know, they got a bad taste in their mouth and Linux is junk and they never want to see it again, which I know for a fact is I've talked to many people that that has happened in the past. I've also converted many people to Linux that have had negative experiences in the past because Linux has grown. So. That's just my two cents on the immutable distribution thing. I, I don't know, you know, if many people share my view of it, but if you do, you know, hey, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you don't, hey, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I certainly invite that. As always, I invite you to join my Discord. Uh, we have lots of activities going on in there. We've got tons of developers that are in there that are uh, doing things and, and getting feedback from people. If you want to help, uh, try to uh, get you know, uh, some your point across or maybe get, you know, some idea across to a developer on a distribution that you like that's in there, such as Rizzi OS, uh, Lia Linux, uh, Carbon OS is in there, another immutable distribution. Uh, quite a few of them that are in there. Uh, go ahead, uh, join the Discord server and talk to some of those devs. Give some input because it all helps out. That's how we can make Linux better for the masses. Also, Guys, if you guys want to support me, please join the channel or do the super thanks. Or you could go to buy me a coffee and buy me a coffee over there. I greatly appreciate it. Either way, you guys keep doing what you do. You guys stay blessed. Keep on Linuxing. And above all, have a great day. I'll see you in the very next video.